Hey, what up everyone? Corey Taylor here from Slipknot and you are watching Spark TV Metal in Action. Spark TV Metal in Action. Hey, what's up? You are watching Spark TV Metal in Action and today we are before real action. Before real action with Slipknot and of course with Corey Taylor. Hello, how are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Okay, you are there with a mask, of course, so we can expect a great show, great action. Oh, absolutely. You know, we uh We've been looking forward to the show uh, since we, you know, we since we put on, and uh, it's one of our favorite places to come. So we're we're very excited to be here. Your favorite places, really? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Prague has always been really good to us. You know, we've been here three times now, and uh, every time we've come, it's just gotten bigger and bigger. And then I guess tonight it's at almost eleven thousand. So I mean, that's pretty damn good, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was talking about uh, your mask. So uh, in some articles, I read that uh, with a mask you are changing something to animals. Is it like this? Well, I, I, not so much. Not not for me anyway. I, I can't speak for everybody else in the band, but for me, the mask has always represented that person on the inside who doesn't have a face, who doesn't have a voice. You know, feels like he doesn't have a voice. You know, so the music is the voice, and the mask is the face. You know, because we're all different people underneath. Um, and this is just the guy who I need to let go crazy, yeah. you know, so I can feel like a human being again, you know? Spark TV. Metal in action. With a mask, uh, do you feel some changes? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it lets you, it lets you kind of just kind of go for it, you know? And I don't think it's because you're hiding behind it. I, I think it's because you're, um, you're, you're letting it out, you know? Like that's what it's all about, is letting it out, letting that person out, letting that person feel it, and just going for it as hard as you can, you know? So the minute you put this mask on, first of all, it hurts. Second of all, it's heavy. Third of all, it's hard to breathe in. But then when you go on stage, you kind of forget that you're wearing it, man. Like it's pretty crazy. But we have to say there is a second mask. Oh yeah, there's a second piece to it. Yeah, this guy. It goes over the top. So what, what are the differences in characters? Now this is, uh, you know, it's a part of this new one, um, and it represents the, the the fact that there are masks behind the mask. You know, there are faces behind the faces. So, kind of showing the dimensions of trying to be uh, a good person, a human, uh, and trying to do the, the 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 right thing in your life, and sometimes having to show those layers to be able to you know, get a good balance in your life. Spark TV. Metal in action. In some articles you said that uh, your last record maybe is not your best record, maybe not uh, the heaviest record, but we can say, we have to say that uh, you are nominated on Grammy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> another Grammy. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, you know, and everybody, you know, everybody sweats me on that because I, I have very little I'm, I'm indifferent about it, you know. Um, to me, this is what matters, yes. you know. This is all that matters for me. Is it cool to win one? Sure. Um, but I'm not going to lose my mind if I lose, you know. Like, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be happy if we win one, and I'm not going to be broken hearted if we lose, you know. Like, I base my success on the fact that there are almost 11,000 people out there right now waiting for us to play. And that's that's where it's at, you know? To me, that's success. A Grammy is just another statue to collect dust on my shelf. So you don't like any awards? Um, you know, I mean, awards are, awards are nice, but you can't, you can't base your happiness or your career on whether or not you have awards. Like, I just don't give a shit, you know? And I, and I can't be bothered to give a shit. And the people who do, are usually the ones that were, you know, they have their heads a little too far up their fucking ass, you know? It's like, figure it out, dude. Yeah. Why are you, why do you do this? Do you do this for rewards, or do you do it to do something for yourself and for the fans? That's what it's about. And that's the philosophy of Slipknot? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, we've always been the band that, if we're not happy with something, nobody hears it, you know? It has to be good for us, and then we give it to the fans, you know? And that's where it's always been, you know? To me, I would rather have a gold plaque yeah. than a Grammy, you know? Because that's the sign that people are listening to your music and people embrace your music. Spark TV. Metal in action. 
We were talking about Prague. Uh, so, still, you remember your first show in Prague? I do. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, it's the now. Let me give you a little background, really quick, um, because I know that Prague is in the Czech Republic. Okay, <laughs> I, I promise, I did. I truly did. But for some reason, our old tour manager at the time had put Prague, Hungary on all the sheets in the hallways. Yeah. So all day I'm walking by, I'm seeing Prague hungry, Prague hungry, Prague hungry. And I'm like, I know that's not right, but what? Uh, so I get on stage and I accidentally say, hi, Hungary, how are you? And, I, uh, and somebody had to grab me and be like, it's the Czech Republic. And I'm like, oh yeah, what the, oh Christ. And I went on and said, I was like, you know what? I apologize. I was saying hungry this whole time. Of course I know that this is the Czech Republic total slip of the tongue like just felt about this big you know um, and I've always tried to make up for it every time we've come here so I mean it is what it is but silly little shit like that you know I totally remember but I remember that the show was amazing I remember the fans just kind of laughed it off they were like eh, of course you know it's fine <laughs> all right all right so um, do you have some time to maybe enjoy a little bit of town Um, it's you know it's 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 few and far between anymore because you know we're you know we play the show and then we're right back on the road so a lot of that is just kind of spent getting rest doing press you know um, I uh, uh, in the past I've been able to kind of walk around and, and check out a lot of stuff but today not so much. That's the word from Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Thank you, man. Thank you Very so well, much. Man. Enjoy no the show. Thank you. I will Thank do you. My best. Spark TV. Metal in action. CDčka, DVDčka a LPčka, trika, mikiny a další věci od Slipknot nakoupíš na www.sparker.cz